Hello, I'm Giles Darling and I write novels, plays and non-fiction books. In this video I answer more questions about a novel I've written called Changing Faces. Question 5. Who is the novel's target audience? Based on its length, this novel would be ideal for middle grade or young adult readers. However, the novel contains mild sexual references and moderate swear words. Therefore, it is probably more suitable for young adult or older readers. Of course, adults of any age can read and enjoy this novel too. The story isn't written with any particular target age group in mind. Question 6. Where do the novel's title and secondary title come from? The novel's title, Changing Faces, was suggested by a work colleague. It's based on the main character's inability to recognise people's faces. To him, people's faces can seem to change before his eyes. The novel's secondary title, The Daisy Guy, is the nickname given to the main character by local newspapers in the novel after his freak accident. This secondary title was also the title of the screenplay that I wrote a few years before and which this novel is based on. Question 7. What do the painted masks on the book's cover mean? The climax scene, towards the end of the novel, occurs at a parade that takes place each summer in the town where the novel is set. At this parade, everyone wears masks that they paint or decorate themselves. The masks on the book's cover represent characters in the novel. Starting from top left, they refer to the main character's nickname, his housekeeper, his employer, his girlfriend, the main character himself, the young woman he meets by chance, his gardener, and in the bottom right corner is the police detective. He's a keen golfer. The mask in the middle of the bottom row represents a group of recurring unnamed characters. This mask was included because it was fun to paint the mask's nose as a traffic cone. Question 8. Would I like the novel to be adapted for a TV show or a film or movie? Yes, of course. The novel is based on a screenplay, so this shouldn't be difficult. In fact, in the novel, the main character even discusses how his inability to recognise faces could be represented in a TV show, a film or a movie. For example, each single character would be played by a group of similar looking actors all wearing that character's clothes. Then, during a scene, a single character would be played by different actors, changing the actor at random between each change of shot or each change of camera angle. In this way, the audience would feel confused, just like how the main character is confused by people's faces in the novel. Interestingly, this trick was used in a film recently to represent the cognitive decline of one of its older characters. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it encourages you to buy and read my novel if you haven't already done so. To see me answer even more questions about changing faces, please watch my second follow-up video. Please also feel free to leave comments below and to like and subscribe this video and my YouTube channel. See you soon.